Hey everybody and welcome back to Gunology. I'm Jansen. We're going to be diving right into the review of the Sig Sauer P365 XL today. Stick around. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, so jumping right into this video, um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that obviously I have made a couple of upgrades. That would be the barrel and the comp on this. This is not how the pistol comes, even though I kind of wish it was because it's super Gucci, super sexy. Um, some people don't like the tin and the comps and stuff. It is what it is. Uh, I figured I would buy one, build it, play with it. Hope you guys enjoy it. But um, I'm gonna take you guys through the specs of this real quick give you guys a breakdown of it, show you us shooting it here on the range today, and go from there. I'm gonna compare this to the only thing that I actually have to compare it against at the moment, which would be my carry pistol, right? So the reason that I actually got the P365 in the first place was to dethrone the Glock 43X off of its stage. This is what I've carried now for uh, probably going on close to two years. Um, I actually did a review on this. If you guys would like to see that, go back, follow my page, um, go back and you can see the review of this one. Regardless, we are clean and empty here. Um, once again, clean and empty here. So um, going over the specs super quick, right? Um, I can kind of overlay one on the other for you guys real quick. And then overlay this one minus the comp here you guys have to get past the comp and the optic for me but uh as you guys can tell i'm getting through this boring stuff first um these pistols are almost identical in the sense of the overall length of the sig is 6.6 .6 inches the overall length of the glock 43x is 6.5 inches so they are almost identical um, what's going to change this for today's appearances is obviously the barrel in this one and the comp It's going to make it look a lot longer than what it is, but it is not um, Let's go this width is 1.1 Width on the Glock is 1.1 height on the SIG is 4.8 inches Barrel or height on the Glock 43X is 5.04 I don't know if you guys can tell that or not But from like the sights and the mag sticking out if you would set them down, the Glock is getting that extra length because it doesn't have the flush base pad like the SIG does. Um, not a huge, huge throw against it though, to be honest. I've carried this, this doesn't print, so I'm not super worried about the height. It's also, we're talking two tenths of an inch. We're super close. Barrel length on this one is 3.7 stock. The barrel length on this one's uh, 3.41 stock. Weights 20.7 ounces. The weight on this one is 18.7. These are both unloaded. That's the weight unloaded on both. Um, since we're talking about that, we'll go ahead and segue into, I've not done anything with these. These are the tra traditional Glock mags for the 43X, which is a 10 plus one gun for a total of 11. 10 plus one, like I said, 10 round mags, one in the chamber gives you 11. The SIG on the other hand is a 12 round mag. Plus one in the chamber gives you a total of 13. So you're getting an extra two rounds stock, no aftermarket parts, no nothing out of the SIG, right? Sight radius is 5.6 inches on the SIG. The sight radius on, on the Glock is 5.2. Once again, very close. A um, little bit in the price difference. So this one without the barrel, the comp, and um, I went traditional sights to traditional sights. Now, mind you, the traditional sights on this actually come with um, like a tritium night sight. These obviously come with polymer plastic ones. You guys know that that is something I do not like about the Glock 43X um, or any of the Glock series. And I've had a lot of people comment and tell me that Glock does that to cheapen up the pistol because you're gonna change them out to whatever you want in the first place. Um, I don't do that. If you guys sell me a pistol with good sights on it, I don't mess with it. So you guys could, Glock could do that and please a lot of people by doing that. It's whatever. That's how they get the price of the gun down some, though. So price off of the same website. Um, up to date, this is today. The SIG, 
you could get for 605 to about 629 brand new and the glock 43x you could get for 556 to about or 456 to about 500 bucks brand new the way that they come obviously no optic i went sights to sights irons to irons right so now that we've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into, this is just a good size comparison. People are really familiar with the Glock 43X. It's been out a while. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into actually loading this thing up, shooting it, showing you guys how it functions. Here we go. This pistol actually did come with the red dot. I wanna show you um, kind of uh, pros and cons, just super quick of the pistol. Um, I did shoot the barrel that was in this originally, the 3.7 inch a ton. Um, and it never gave me any issues. Uh, pro, I love the flat face trigger in this. I love the flush fit mags. Um, this one come with the actual optic on it. I don't mind the optic. I like it for what it is. If I was going to carry this day to day, I would probably want something more durable than the plastic. Now I will say that SIG says that this is 10 times harder than something another or whatever that they say on their website. I hate to break the news at the end of the day, this is plastic, this is a polymer site. I don't know how in the hell it could ever reach that of a, a metal site. Like the Holosyn, the 507Ks and stuff, um, the Trigicon RMRs, the Delta Point Pros, those are all metal shrouded and metal based sites. Um, I wish Sig, Sig would jump on board and do that for these, right? So regardless, I actually like the, I actually like the site. I'm not dogging it. Um, let me see if you guys can see. It has a very pronounced, perfect red dot in it. Um, like I said, I really like the gun, really like the sights. The magazine, the ergonomics of this pistol, which we'll talk about here in just a minute, are absolutely phenomenal, and I'll tell you guys why. So regardless, we're going to go ahead and load up, take it over, shoot it some, and keep talking about it. Let's briefly go through the ergonomics of the pistol. First off, they I've told you guys this before about the SIGs and the other SIGs that I've already reviewed on here, the P320, um, the 210, regardless. Uh, the grip angle of these pistols are absolutely fantastic, right? Where the Glocks have that more forward based. The SIGs are a more comfortable pistol to shoot. They have this more upright grip angle. Uh, they're more basic in a sense of if you haven't shot a lot, they point better than a Glock would out of the box, right? Um, you got to get used to that grip with a Glock. Not saying you wouldn't have to get used to the grip with this, uh, but it's intuitive. It wants to point better for you than a Glock does. Personal opinion. Take that with a grain of salt. Um, regardless, I'm going to go ahead and load up here and uh, shoot this pistol some. But like I said, the ergonomics of this pistol are great. Absolutely love it. The, the... I don't know if you guys can see this. The buttons are super easy to get to, whether it's the mag release, this little undercut that they give you, uh, kind of spaced out for the trigger. Trigger presses, absolutely. I don't know if you guys can hear this, just listen. Crispy, right? So the reset is very pronounced and you're back on that wall and then it breaks very easy pistol to shoot you will run tons of ammo through these things um for a pistol that is small that is the micro carries this thing shoots phenomenally well and it shoots phenomenally soft without the comp or the extra length of the barrel but regardless i won't talk your guys's ears off let's run some uh footage of me shooting this thing I'm going to shoot it offhand here at a little bit of distance. Um, I've got some flack. I messed up one time telling you guys what the distance was. So this is the SIG Kilo 2200 BDX uh, rangefinder. So I'll be able to give you an exact measurement. This is right in here is where I'm going to be standing. That's 
30.5 yards. So now that we got that out of the way, let me load up and try to shoot it. especially with the comp um, I will tell you guys that the comp is made by Harrington Arms and this is a true precision barrel in this um, I'll shoot some groups with it offhand here and show you this gun is wickedly accurate and with the comp uh, these are 115s I'm shooting by the way full uh, I think they're federal or blazer CCI's whatever um, they are true 115s right out of the box this gun shoots phenomenally and it's so flat the comp pushes everything right back down you can shoot it accurately and shoot it really fast this thing is an absolute dream to shoot at the range i think you guys can see why i run so much ammo through it now right so it's just an absolute beast to shoot i'm gonna do a little uh offhand seven yard um on the paper shout out to 68 bait and tackle for the targets here um, I'm gonna go ahead and load up. I got 10 in here. We're gonna run just a little seven yard offhand accuracy test. I'll throw some slow-mo footage of this comp and stuff working on it just for the fun of it. Um, and then we'll wrap this video up. That's 10 offhand at seven. Yes, it's seven. I used my SIG range finder to mark seven yards. Um, that's all in a 10 ring at seven. I did throw one, I think that was my ninth or 10th shot up there a little high. Other than that, I mean, this pistol shoots phenomenal. There's not much more you can say. It's a great pistol. It shoots great. Um, there's two types of people in the gun world right now. Uh, those that have jumped on the SIG train and those that are a couple years behind. No worries, guys. Um, if you guys liked what you've seen today, please like, subscribe, share this video. I'm dropping content now. We're back into the summer and stuff. It is hot out here, but I'm back into the summer. We're gonna be dropping videos every single week, a bunch of shorts, a bunch of videos. If there's something you guys would like to see, please comment regardless. I appreciate you guys tuning in today to watch the SIG 365 XL review. Um, I will have a review coming out, uh, not a tabletop. I've already done an unboxing of the True Precision Barrel, but I'm going to have a review coming out on the True Precision Barrel and the Harrington Arms shout out for them. Um, it looks like they've made a couple of absolutely fantastic products. But anyway, I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Subscribe, like, comment. See you guys.